Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep, inquisitive questions and give far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is engineer, producer, and Blue Coast Recordings founder, Cookie Marenko. Cookie, how are you? I, I'm good. <laughs> you think about that for a second, huh? That wasn't one of the questions, you know. Oh, good, good. Okay, good. All right, so you ready for this? You know the drill, 30 seconds, and then on to the next question. All are right. you ready? I'm yeah? ready. Okay, cool. All right. Question number one. How has the recent shutdown and the current reopening impacted your life and your work? Oh, that's a good question. I actually enjoy it. I'm kind of uh, not looking forward to going back to the, the um, what's the word, hectic world of trying to book the studio, try to sell things, trying to keep up. Um, it's been great, actually. Uh, what else? I'm not gonna make it to the 30 seconds. When does You're the buzzer go You're not gonna go make off? it. Oh, that's tragic. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Question number two. What do you think recovery looks like for the music and live sound industry? Oh boy. Well, the music business was hard enough before, but I have no idea. If it's anything like what's going on in sports, um, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, I've been listening to the, um, Major League Baseball and football and whatever they're trying to do. And the thought of getting people into a concert venue is just nuts. Um, so I, I don't really know what's going to happen. A lot of Zoom. A lot of Zoom concerts. A lot of people trying to figure out. Question how- number three. With the recent surge in of yeah, let me try that again. Question number three. With the recent surge in from home live streaming, what's the most noticeable thing you've seen in artist performances? Artist performances in live stream. Uh, well, you know, what I've actually what I've noticed is most of the artists complain about the sound quality. When I watch the live stream, I'm thinking, wow, that's great. They've got all that ambition to do this from home. What do they care what it sounds like? It's not that bad if we can hear anything. So I've been encouraging them to stay lo-fi. Don't try to build it all up uh, because it, the, the technology is just going to get in their way. Question number four. If you could wake up tomorrow with a sudden mastery of any skill, what would it be? <laughs> wow, I don't think anybody has ever asked me that. Uh, a mastery of a skill. Maybe, you know, how to make money. That would probably be something. Is that a skill? You know, that's a good question. Some people, I think it is a skill. That's all they aspire to do. I've never aspired to make a lot of money. I've uh, aspired to be creative and work with other people and to, you know. There's your problem right there. (laughs) Next question. What's the weirdest thing you believed as a small child? Huh. Hmm. You know, monsters under the bed or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, I got kind of savvy to the whole Santa Claus thing and the Tooth Fairy pretty early. And um, I don't know. Oh, I used to have nightmares about fires little fires on top of mailboxes that would talk to me. That's because my father was a fireman and. <laughs> That's really scary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind. Okay. Next question. What would 15 year old you be most and least impressed about with you now? The 15 year old me, um, maybe most impressed that I I own my own house. Uh, I still have a commercial facility. Basically, then I'm 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 a recording engineer and producer. I had no idea that this was the direction. And what and, about least impressed? Yeah, least impressed. Um, you know that I scrape by every month and continue to do this, and I'm still doing it. That's what amazes. Me. We're That's still what amazes here, all of us these days, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put 30 seconds more on the clock, and I'm going to let you answer for me any question you wish I had asked you. 
Oh, that's the toughest question of all. Um, my mind is a blank. That's what? not necessarily a question. <laughs> uh, let's see. Will San Francisco's population... Oh, no, no. Will, will the, the driving nightmares in the San Francisco area ever come to an end? The answer is no. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> All no, the they'll only get more fun over the years because what will happen is they'll close down more streets and they'll reroute traffic in more different locations. Yeah. We know how this goes. You've been watching it for decades now. I know. And I've heard that a few companies like Twitter and some other companies might actually be moving their offices out of San Francisco, which is going to open up a lot of office space and possibly convert it into homes. So they're thinking the property values may actually go down. Yeah. And, Hold your breath for that. Yeah. <laughs> Cookie Marenko, thank you for being our guest. It's been fun having you. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs>